Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I am quite surprised that no one is talking about this new model from Skywork which is Skyreels V1 that is based on Han Yuan model which we already have covered on the channel. This model from Skyreels can generate human centric very high quality videos either from text or from image prompt. The preferred configuration to run this model is around 80 GPU of VRAM, better if you have multi GPU cluster or you can even run it on around 24 gig of VRAM and I will also show you how you can do that. In this video we are going to install it locally and then we will generate a video from text. You can also supply an image to generate the videos, they have two models in this family. Now before we see the installation, let's talk a bit more about this model. So this model as I said can do both text to video or image to video. The model captures 33 distinct facial expressions with over 400 natural movement combinations. It is also trained on high quality film and television data resulting in cinematic quality video generation and the data set was annotated quite carefully and it is based on a vast data set of high quality film, television and documentary content. So the idea behind this model is that if you are looking to generate a film standard or TV standard video, you can do that with text prompt and I believe that is the next frontier in the models. Also the model has underwent three stage pre-training pipeline to achieve superior performance and they have also shared a bit of that information in this hugging face model car too and I will also, I will also drop the link to it in video's description so please uh, check it out if you are interested in that information plus there is some also evaluation benchmarks which I am not going to go into because there is a lot of theory there you can read yourself at your leisure. So let's try to install it and then generate videos from it. Let me also thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on a very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount for a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. But don't worry, I am also going to show you how you can run it under 24 or 20 gig of VRAM. First up, as usual, let's create a virtual environment with Conda. And while it gets created, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's go back and our virtual environment is created. Next up, we need to install all the uh, prerequisites from the root of the repo and this is the repo which I am going to git clone which you can find from their um, Hugging Face model card too and in order to install the requirements, all you need to do is to run this pip command. This is going to take a few minutes so let's wait what happened there. Okay, let me, okay, so I didn't actually go into that directory so let me quickly go there and this should work now. There you go. And now everything is installed. Now let me show you how you can generate videos from text. Let me paste the command and then I will walk you through. So the first uh, line, it is just specifying our model and we are going with text to video. There are two models in it, text to video and image to video. If you want to do image to video, just replace T to V here with I to V. And then we are specifying model ID and the task, uh, task we are want to do is text to video. For image to video it will be I to V. Now then we are specifying here a guidance scale that controls the strength of guidance signal which influences the model's adherence to the prompt. A higher value means stronger, stronger guidance. And then we are specifying height and width of the generated video in pixels and then number of frames is 97. And then we are saying that okay FPS which means that frame per second should be 24 and make sure whatever text prompt you are giving you start it with FPS-24. That is sort of you can think of uh, as a trigger word because this model has been fine tuned on top of Hanjuan. And then there is embedding uh, of course we have a prompt where we are asking it to generate a video of a mermaid wearing sunglasses and working as a lifeguard at a pool. 
and then embedded guidance scale is one which controls um, the strength of the embedded guidance signal that is used for fine tuning the model so let me run this one and as soon as you run it it starts downloading the model there are four shards of it um, so it means that the model is quite lightweight given uh, the stuff it, it is trying to do anyway so let's wait for it to get downloaded and by the way the command which i have just issued this one this is suitable for 80 gpu of vram or so let me quickly show you the command which you will use for under 20 gig of vram I have just pasted this command for you in my VS code just to show you. So the command is same. And if you're running it on Linux, make sure the first line, you just put it like this export so that you are exporting it as environment variable. Then the rest of the command is same model ID, same, and then task type guidance scale. Make sure that you change the height and width of the video is in pixel. Keep a number of frames as is and change the guidance scale to one and then you see we are specifying the cot and then we are offloading it to cpu so that is how it is able to do the video in just around i would say 20 gig of vram but the problem is that this video generation for this text in it generates 12 second of video it takes around one and a half hour yeah you have heard it right so it would run on a gpu like rtx 4090 but it is going to take one and a half hour of course the more vram you will throw at it the quicker the video will be generated and that is why i always say that this text to video or image to video optimization is the next frontier when it comes to these multimodal models anyway so this is a command which you need to run if you have lower vram and i don't think so it is going to run anything less than 20 gig of vram or 16 gig of vram even if it does maybe way too slow so uh, let's go back to see what is happening there in our terminal the second shard is being downloaded there so let's wait for the whole model to get downloaded model is downloaded and now it is beginning to start the process of video generation you can see that it has got the prompt here with the guidance and it has automatically selected the negative prompt so let's see how much is the ETA on my 80 GPU of VRAM. So it says around 11 minutes. So let's see um, how it goes and then I will keep you posted. And it is going well so far. It is following the time which it gave me the ETA. And meanwhile, let's also check the VRAM consumption. Should be fun. So it is consuming over 61 gig of VRAM, around 62 with this so of course you would need a dgp of vram to run it with this configuration and as i said for the other one you can um, lower vram you can use the command other command which i showed you anyway i will just wait for these nine steps to complete and then we will check out the video and the pipeline is now making the second pass which is around i would say 10 minutes so, so let's see how long this one takes in total. Okay, so it has generated two videos and that is why it has uh, run it the pipeline a couple of times. And if you go to the repo, there is a result and there is Skyreel. And these are the um, two videos it has generated. Now I have played them. They are quite good, but there is one problem. That is actually not safe for work videos. Um, I think I made a mistake around mermaid and pool and that is why it has generated quite i would say ob objectionable video so i'm not going to show you um, i'm not sure if youtube would allow me so i'm just going to uh, not run this uh, what i'm going to do uh, i'm just going to run rerun it with some other innocuous prompt so i'll keep this one as is here uh, i wish i could show you this but i can't so what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, go back here and clear my screen and then i'll just rerun it with something else let me think of something very simple which is uh which is not an sfw maybe i'll just how about a cat video so i'll just say a cat reading a book so that should be good and i believe let's go with this i don't see any um 
option of running it with only one i think it is going to again generate two anyway i'm just going to run this so it is going to create another video i'll just wait 20 minutes to get it generated to see how it goes so thankfully it is not going to download the model again it is just going to load it onto our gpu and then it is going to make two passes on it so maybe once it finishes one pass i will show you one video and then we will go from there so you see again 30 steps it is going to do let's go back to see if when it populates this maybe when it generates a video then it is going to output it here anyway as usual i'm just going to wait for uh 20 you know 10 to 20 minutes and then i will start showing you the uh, videos you see again the same time around 10 minutes on my gpu and it has finished the first pipeline and you can see that it also has generated the first video so i will just let the other one run let's check this one out because this shouldn't much difference so i'm just opening it there you go so cat is reading the book can you believe this let me open it and make it um bigger let's like this let's play it what do you think not bad isn't it so the quality of the video is quite good it is just a few seconds like four seconds but still it has followed the prompt to the held i don't really see any malformation of course there could be there is a room for improvement but other than that looks quite good to me very nice so so look i don't think so that other uh one would be so much different but you already have seen it i already have waited like um 30 40 minutes now in order to get this done so uh, there is a lot of other fish to fry so i believe that you now got the idea how to run this model try it out let me know how you go especially uh, please let me know how you go on the uh, gpus with 20 gpu of vram how long did you take it they said uh, that it takes around 90 minutes so let me know how you go if you're interested in other text to video models or image to video models just search on my channel especially this Anjuan one was quite good as you can see i have covered it a lot on the channel if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching